There are some people who could hear you speak a thousand words and still not understand you. There are others who will understand you without even speaking a word. Hi, my name is Kyle Lamb, and I'll be talking about three different stories of mine that all relate in a way you may not expect, but were inspired from this quote. It really stands out to me, and I think you might understand by the end of this talk. With that, I'd like to get on my first story. This is about my sister and I finding our way through age differences. My older sister, Avia, is 13 years older than me. So when I was born, she was already 13. She loved to spend time with me, babysitted me when our mom was at work, but there are definitely differences of what our interests were. I loved to run into walls with a bucket on my head, while she liked to go to the mall with her friends. But there is one thing that we both loved to do together. We would rock out and dance to Led Zeppelin music and wear black lipstick. I remember the dancing so vividly, it feels like yesterday. The point of that story is that even though we had different interests and our ages were so far apart, we were able to find that connection that brought us together. I still dance to this day because it helps me when I feel lost. Looking back at those memories reminds me that even if you don't have similarities with someone, you can still connect with them. Over the summer, my family and I attended a Black Lives Matter protest. It was in UC Davis, California, and it amazed me that there were not only black people protesting for their equal rights, but there were different ethnicities standing together because the demand was for equality for all and that they would no longer stand for such injustice. I thought that was incredible to see not only black people standing up for their culture, but also seeing other races supporting us. The black culture is judged a lot in my opinion. This world is full of hate sometimes and if everyone could just spread a little more kindness, we could all be a big community. Another example that showed me even with our differences of not being the same color, culture, beliefs, and respects, we can all come together to support a targeted race is because that impacts and impedes equality for humanity. This last story is my personal favorite. I was adopted right away by a, at birth by a loving family. I couldn't ask for a more supportive family, especially my mom. She's like Superwoman, who's strong emotionally, physically, and mentally. She's been through a lot, to the point where most people would have given up, but every morning she gets up and takes care of her kids and family. I used to always worry that my sister was my mom's favorite kid, and I struggled with overcoming that for a long time. I felt out of place because I'm not only the only black one in my family, but I'm also the only adopted one. I didn't always want to talk to my mom about this, so I talked to my 16-year-old cousin Christian about it. He's the most amazing cousin ever. I couldn't ask for a better one. He may not always understand what I'm going through, he tries to though. He makes sure I'm okay and I have a lot of respect for him. He's basically the older brother I've always wanted. We both treat each other with a lot of respect and we have a good time when we hang out. We may not always understand fully what the other one is going through, but the point is, is that we're there for each other. It's easier than talking to one of my friends because he's family and we can talk about family matters as well. The point of all three of my stories is that you may not always be able to understand what someone is going through or be able to relate to them at all. Maybe you guys come from totally separate worlds. But the point is, is you can usually still have some sort of connection and respect for them. So many of our world's problems and misunderstandings come from a lack of listening to other people's stories and having the basic respect to hear them out. Only when we come to meet others where they're at and are accepted to the point we are, do we form bridges of understandings that help us grow together even stronger with our differences. Thank you for listening.